Alright, and let's go and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Mare, and welcome to the channel where today we're picking up where we left off on our last episode of our Sands of Aura hard mode playthrough. What a mouthful. Uh, we went to the uh, Cinderfolk Hold over here, and we uh, basically took on the entire thing, including the boss Greco, so that we could grab his prosthetic arm and free a man named Gideon uh, from a cage that he was bound in. He knows the secrets to get to the Flare Forge, where we're going right now. You can tell based on the lightning going on above us. Uh, essentially, uh, we can use his prosthetic arm to basically act as a lightning rod, therefore allowing us to trudge through this desert unharmed by this storm. Uh, so if you like the content you want to see more of our hard mode playthrough of Sands of Aura, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As always, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and let's jump into it. And I was trying to figure out which direction I was going in. I now realize that we were off course just ever so slightly. But there it is over there, Flare Forge. Uh, yeah. So, between episodes, I haven't really done much uh, in this, in like the, the way of preparation. Um, we are still overly prepared for everything because we were allowed to uh, max out all our gear. I am going to try messing with a couple of our concoctions to see how some of them work with us. Uh, more importantly, I want to see what it looks like if we were to take, say, armor... Oh, sorry. Uh, we take uh, some armor pen uh, for our character by taking a potion that increases our armor pen by 25% and reduces our damage by, I think, 10%. The thing is that the majority of our damage comes from, uh, what should we call it, uh, dots anyways. I'm okay with attempting to take some of that away. Especially since armor pen uh, would most definitely boost our damage regardless anyways. So here we are. We are officially at the Flare Forge. As you saw, we did come in from the south because uh, that is the entrance. It is a very hard to see entrance, by the way. So just know that if you ever need to come here south side of the Flare Forge, there's a little gap in the wall. Uh, so we're going to come up here. And uh, before we go further, we're going to go ahead and drop that po potion. Uh, this one is Hashari Honey. Where's that? And I do have the recipe for this. That came from the normal uh, playthrough. I know he is here. You will not stop me. And uh, we have Alara, and uh, basically she's looking for the spirit of the guy who cursed her well to be locked and basically um, immortal pain, more or less. Uh, she's here. We can also assist her with her quest if you so want to. You can totally do that. Uh, I can't remember how to get over to that side. I want to say that maybe we hit a door at some point, but there is also a chest on the other side. So let's go ahead and head over to this other side and see if we can get that chest. Now, from my understanding, I think the potions that you take last until you die. Okay, so we need a key for that. <coughs> So I think we're pretty good there. All right, so we'll make our way here into the central portion of the Flare Forge. Uh, Flare Forge does not have any enemies outright here. Instead, you're gonna run into, I believe this guy's name is Cathexus or Pleonexus. It's one of those. Cathexus, the Armor Master. And uh, essentially, if we said, uh, help him, he will come to our base and he will basically allow you to upgrade your armor. Let's see, why would not use a planishing hammer to emboss? I shall continue my the flare knife. I found the Azure. I forgot extra. All right, so uh, he essentially uh, will allow himself to come to your base after you find the Azure Flare, and uh, he will allow you to upgrade your armor to a certain level. Um, right now, we're able to upgrade our armor to level 20 because of the fact that we've already beaten the game and we are able to retain those rights, essentially, to do so. 
But in the normal playthrough, I think you are only allowed to upgrade your armor to mm, plus twelve or so. Who is this guy? He's a problem. Is what he is. Let's see if we uh, just go over there and let him do his magic. Uh oh. It seems we have a whole bunch of enemies just wanting to come in here and have a terrible day. Oh, I forgot they could do that. We're going to pick up the runes. We're not going to really worry about uh, much in the way of the stairs because, of course, they are absolutely 100% melted. Uh, there's going to be a whole bunch of a uh, bunch of points of interest here. Uh, let's see. Do we want to really go through all these fights? We don't have to. In the meantime, we'll just uh, let these guys do their thing. He tickled us a little bit there. Oh, let's run away from that. I'd rather not deal with that. Uh, this area doesn't have a lot of shortcuts, and it's a very massive area, just so we're clear. I think we killed all of them. It's hard to say. They keep on uh, piecing themselves back together again. I don't know where these guys came from. I'm trying to decide if these guys are basically immortal. Oh, they, uh, okay, so there's more summoned in, so there's no point in trying to fight these guys. So we're just gonna run our crazy little head through all this stuff. And I believe there's some spellcasters up here we can take out. Ooh. Oh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to deal with your stuff. Let's get away from that guy. Hopefully they don't come back to life up here. I would like it really good if they didn't come back to life while we were up here in this room. Uh, we can start a fight in this room. There's a quest. We're going to go ahead and start this quest. We need to collect a couple pieces. We do so by interacting with these and then killing the uh, spirits of these things. They act like your friends and then they totally, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, turn on you. should be able to just take out these last two right here and then that gives us the book all right so those are those guys down volume of praises and there should be i believe like two others i'm gonna take out this guy oh he's that teleport over there what a jerk all right so he's gone and that's going to be our path upward from here. As you can see, still no accessible shortcut from here. But basically all we did was run a U-turn. So you come in through that side. You basically run through, cut back this way, and run up the stairs. Uh, and it looks like once you kill those guys that are following you, you do not resurrect again, which is very awesome. Uh, we just got to be careful because I am not entirely sure. Uh, where these uh, these guys uh, 
put new enemies for us to fight. Uh, let's see. I do want to believe there is. A, yep, there's an item right over here. Nope. That's unfortunate. We got a little uh, wall block there. I'm going to cut to where we were at. So, be right back. All right. Okay, and we're back. And uh, I did manage to uh, go get that uh, item down there. It was a master cast pommel. Uh, in this case, it was the... Uh, which one was it? Just picked it up. I'm going to go crazy here for a second. I swear it said master cast pommel. It must have been this replenishing one. Don't know why it wasn't showing at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but essentially, as long as you don't touch that rock face, you don't get hooked on anything. I think I got too close to that rock face right there. And I get hooked, and therefore it just became a wall for that entire train track. As long as you just stay on the train track, don't get close to that wall, you can normally walk there and then just drop back down on the platform. Uh, so there's that. If it's not the replenishing pommel, I'll go ahead and look at it and... and uh, make a comment on it later maybe put a text on the video right where that's at correcting myself uh but now we're back on the path here let's go ahead and uh take ourselves further in i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy and uh, I am not using the armor pen because I died. So instead, right now, we're actually using... Oh, God. Uh, this is uh, gives us extra corruption whenever we're fighting. So this guy, basically, he throws a spear and then he lands back down where he's at. So as long as you're prepared about where he's at, you can literally go to where he's going to be and start whooping on him, which is what we did right there. Uh, so now we're basically in the middle of the Flare Forge. Uh, we got a shield dude over there. That's going to kind of suck. We're coming here and whoop on this guy. I believe he ain't coming back together. There's the door we're looking for. Uh, basically, that room we were in, we went to uh, the main room we we're in where Cathex is at. We took a right, gone through that uh, lightning field, essentially. Well, the north side of that room is another door. That is that door right there. And uh, we can actually opt to go down this wall here if we wanted to, although we risk taking a whole bunch of damage uh, to get to that. In the meantime, I think we're gonna take the safe method, but it's still fairly dangerous because we're gonna have to deal with this guy, which we, fa we face one of these at the cinder hold. I'm hoping that maybe we can survive this. But yeah, this guy is very healthy. We're gonna roll away from him. We'll go ahead and hit him on the back side here. He did hit us, but it's okay. I think we're okay. And he died. Okay, cool. Uh, we played that really well. Uh, we're a little bit lower on the corruption side because we used a lot of... Uh, our, usually we, we don't use that nearly as many uh, spellblade charges as we were using on him. So I'm trying to decide if we want to go there first, but I'm thinking we're going to opt to go down these stairs. Where is this mage at? There he is. Oh, did he resurrect? Did he? Oh, he summoned some dudes over here. So those guys should be dead permanently after we kill them. Where's my phone at? There you go. Sorry about that. I had to check my phone. Got a message. All right. So those guys are dead. 
Now we'll work our way down the stairs. We'll have to fight this first guy. I think. Nope, we don't. Okay. We have some glint here. We'll go ahead and grab that. I feel like we got hooked up on the stairs there. Ooh. There are going to be a lot of enemies going down these stairs, FYI. So we're going to take these, like, one set of stairs at a time. As you can tell, there's, like, three enemies here. See how many we can avoid by just... Doing that. Alright, so that's one enemy down. Let's see who gets pulled next. I can just do that. Come on up. Ow. Too bad. We actually landed. Uh, we got hooked on the stairs there. This guy should be fairly easy to clean up for us. And now I believe there might be one or two more enemies left. Here's one, and I believe one more will jump off the, uh, the wall after we attempt to go down the stairs further. There's one. I just wanted to go ahead and clear it out, honestly. And we'll open this door. And now we have a shortcut, so we happen to die. We can run right through here. Now, we might die again. Um, only because this next section has another one of those big guys. Uh, right over there on the other side of those uh, stairs that we can see but it's worth kind of fighting him because we need to technically get by him we might not need to fight him we'll see if we can uh, if we can basically outrange him I'll be fine So that guy's down. Uh, he's not going to aggro unless we go to those top of those stairs there. So we'll check up on that in a second. This guy do his thing. He loves showing off his helicopter skills. Alright, and I think there might be one or two more of these guys. And I do want to clear these guys out. Uh, because uh, basically our path forward is to get on top of this platform here. It's to our right. Oh, shit. He did that really fast. Of course, of course. Those guys are going to make our life miserable. Oh, and he summoned the other dude. So he basically aggroed all of them. Alright, so he died, and that guy went back in a location, which I'm okay with. We got one bell left.
Now, we don't have a lot of health here, so I don't have a lot of faith that we'll survive the whole endeavor. But here's hoping we can at least get past this guy. I don't want him to chase me. I want him to actually give up the chase. Let's see if he'll do that. Oh, he's got he's gonna chase us up here. What a jerk. Oh, unfortunately it doesn't look like we have a way. Oh. With that. Hey, you know what? That's kind of a shortcut uh, that we can use from now on. We don't actually have to find our way over there. We can just jump up that side and come up here. And we'll give up. And it looks like he's going back to his uh, home. I'm going to pick up this next piece. Decree of Justice. Now what I'm probably going to do just for all of our sakes is go ahead and reset at the um the the the, the, the bell. Mostly because the bell is um the only source of uh reset in this game. Uh or in this uh the Flare Forge. This first resonance bell here at the front of the stage is literally the only place to uh, checkpoint, essentially. Um, but we went through those doors. The next uh, section is going to be unlocked by that door over there. So we're already about halfway through the Flare Forge. We'll see. I would say this is probably about the halfway point. Now, I will say, as we get further into this thing, um, it can definitely get a little bit harder, if only because, uh, I will say, this is definitely one of the hardest bosses in the game for me, or at least I remember this being the hardest boss for me. I don't think I got stuck on too many, but this guy took me a couple of times just because it was such a large um, difference, essentially, from the other bosses. I don't even know how that other guy lived. Let's let him do his thing. He'll come back up to us. Or, or maybe he... Oh, okay, there he goes. He did. And that's all these enemies, I believe. I do want this guy to die, though. Super fast. If you can believe it. I don't like when they do this. It just makes them stay alive just an ounce longer than they should. I want to be careful not to go that way because, of course, the big guy resurrected. And somehow I aggro that guy. I mean, I get how I aggroed him, but it kind of sucks that I did. There we go. That guy is dead. And then we'll come up this stairs right here at the top. Ow, I let go of my block for some reason. Go ahead and drink a couple of potions, or ring a couple of bells to make us feel better. And now we have one of these guys, which is kind of a small version of um, Greco.
Like literally a small version of Greco. That guy is there. He'll teleport, I think. Looks like he's falling. Ring a bell while we can. I think he'll teleport. And there's our Flare Forge key. Flawless. We didn't uh, lose in any way. We did amazing there. Good job on us. Luckily, he's the only one of that kind. I think, hopefully. Oh, shit. Does he, did he teleport? I didn't even notice he teleported. Uh, we do have to be careful around here because there is a uh, four-legged dude on one of these walls. There he is. Uh, why? And then we have a, uh, a quest giver right over here. Health rune and armor from the Ferrum Steer Greaves. All right, talk to Fern. All this time spent burrowing about, you'd think the solitude wouldn't bother me. Yes, it's quite refreshing to see a friendly face. I am Fern, proprietor of these stocks and supplies. Please, do look and linger. Not a soul in Talum Hell hasn't found something of interest within my wares. All right, so we're going to talk to Fern right here, and we'll ask Fern a couple of questions. Fern will send us on a quest. Uh, in order to buy these, uh, her William Royal Bones. Now, this is something we do actively want. Uh, let's see. Vogue the Time Worn Gondolier. I, I think we need these. I can't remember what for, but he also sells the hem helmet, so we're going to grab the helmet. We're actually going to grab all of these. Well, we can. This will be for use for runes to make rune dust or just like a. Uh, Upgrade some runes we might have. We'll pick up the helmet. Spot anything of interest, my I do apologize. But you see, I've already promised that to some And we've also off off offered to uh, deliver this to the grave, which is another area in the game, like another island. Uh, so uh, she's going to allow us to take that there. And then the bones of the Herwellian Royal. Uh, this is actually what... Um, uh, 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 God, the woman for her well, Alara. That's what it is. Man, I choked on her name right here. Uh, so those bones. In order to get those bones, she wants us to go to find a book on the last laboratory. The lost laboratory is area right nearby, so we can go ahead and do that for her as well. If you want to grab, uh, if you want to finish off a quest line for the runes of her will, you'll actually have to actively go do this quest. Uh, but you're not inclined to have to do so if you don't want to. Uh, so for the moment, we're actually going to avoid that. And uh, we now have to make our way continue on from where we're at. I wish there was a little bit more timing there, but I, I get it. Kind of sucks. Those guys are dead. Where to go? Let me get this mage out of the way. I want to say, are those two both mages? Or are these all three mages? Wow. 
why we I don't know why we weren't hitting them there. I hate those so much. And luckily for us, they both went after my thing right there. We'll see if they'll go after that. Oh, wait. The wizard's still alive somewhere. Where's it alive at? I don't actively see where the wizard is alive anymore. Okay, well, we definitely heard the thing. And that's stuck over there in that wall, so I'm not even really worried about that. I'm actually going to go this way. And uh, I'm actually going to make my way through all this. This is all uh, just a whole bunch of BS, if you ask me. I think if we run away all the way to the other side, we'll manage to find our way over here. Hopefully, mostly hassle-free. We gotta get up these stairs. Doesn't look like anything is chasing us. That whole area right there is just like a whole bunch of bullcrap. I'm trying to remember what the reasoning for showing this part is. Oh, we'll actually see some interaction with Aura here. That's what this is. Are they following us at all? I can't tell. I hear angry voices. I don't see angry faces. All right, so we're going to keep going this way. We're going to act like those weren't a concern at all. We can go right, which is the way we're supposed to go, but here we have an aura interaction. So we'll go ahead and follow aura over here. I believe there's an enemy on the other side of this wall. I thought there was another enemy on the other side of the wall. They talk. Never. We'll go ahead and Get this. A bond so essential that those you were right. I shouldn't. All right, there. Aura is back with us. Okay, so maybe there isn't anything out here. I thought that one of those four-legged dudes were right here. Again, I'm going off of like this is memory. I'd say muscle memory, but it's a very weak muscle right now. Alright, that guy is dead. And remember, if you die to any of this stuff, you actually have to actively go and do all of this all over again. There is a door here, but I can't remember what it takes to open it. Because that's uh, actively where we want to go. For the time being, we'll head down the stairs because this is going to get us towards a shortcut. We'll have to fight one of these guys. There we go. And there's going to be a four-legged dude right down here. I should know better than to try to keep attacking them after we block them.
so he's proper dead. That's good. And now I believe we are one enemy away from being able to unlock the shortcut here. So we may have to run by an enemy here because as long as we get the shortcut, we're fine. We'll come down these uh, roller coaster stairs. All right, uh, yeah. And we'll go ahead and activate. Oh, we do have one more enemy, actually. This guy. There we go. And here is our last shortcut. So now we have the entire Flare Forge at our behest. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and reset at the Lantern. Or the bell. Oh, I keep on saying lantern. And uh, that's pretty much going to be a good place for us to rest up before we head on. I haven't been going for all the secrets just yet. Mostly because they're not necessary for myself, but at least I'll walk you through what happens. Uh, so the Lost Laboratory is somewhere around here. It's basically a gauntlet, and once you get over there, there's a hidden wall in the back of the room in, like, a, a library area that holds what the fern needs to buy those bones. Once you have those bones, uh, you then bring those bones over here to that gate, and, uh, you basically fight those guys, go through the gate, and there's a place to drop those bones, and it basically calls the spirit of uh, the old uh, Prince of Hurtwell, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and dash through this guy. Uh, I don't like fighting him, and we can actually come here and lose aggro on him, which is what I choose to do. Because uh, he is... Uh, I hate fighting those guys. We'll knock that guy into the fight. Oh, shit. Didn't see this guy. Well, you don't have to deal with one of them, because one of them got knocked in the fire, so that's good. And I believe... Maybe there's one more over here we can fight. There he is. Let him do his thing. Oh, it seems like uh, we have a wizard summoning them in. We'll hit this point, and this is an aura point here. Uh, but what we really want to do is come out to the side of one of these, and this is going to take us where we need to go, hopefully. I don't know if this is the one specifically, but we'll find out. All right, let's try this again. All right, and I believe we actually found the one we needed this time. And here's the platform we need, so good on us. We finally found it. And it looks like we have another one of those Greco type mini bosses. I'm trying to decide if we can actively avoid him in any way. I really don't want to fight him. But I guess we're going to have to. Ow!
All right, and looks like we made short work of Baby Greco. There we go. And we got another flare key. And now here is our last point of interest for opening one of these, I believe. You have to go. As soon as we click one of these, we're going to have the enemies pop up for us, around us, sort of deal. It's going to light up here. And I believe we're going to have to fight enemies. Come on, I know better. Oh, maybe not. Hey, we didn't have to fight anybody. All right, so we'll go ahead and check around the side right here to see if there's anything right here. There's a whole bunch of area we have unexplored in this one, mostly just because I'm trying to make a mad dash to the end. But there's a specific thing that you want to see that I have not showcased, let me know, and I will do my best to, to do just that. So I want to get over there, and we're going to jump over here to do so. Oh, there's... Why is my frame rate dipping right here? I'm gonna die. Nope. Oh. These guys suck so bad. Guys, we're gonna be the death of me so hard. I hate those guys. Oh, they're the worst enemies in the game now. Um, but the reason why I jumped over here rather than stay on the end is uh, because there's actively a uh, big guy over there, and I'd rather not fight him, honestly. He can be kind of a, a problem to handle, especially with the area that he's at. Uh, and now we're into the final portion of the game. Or not portion of the game, but the final, final portion of this level. If we want to, we can just cut through most of this by running across this train track. We don't have to fight most of these guys. But we're going to run into another Ferrum. Uh, his name is uh, Pleonexus, and he's the evil version of Cathexus. Yes, no doubt, Cathexus... So basically, we give them the uh, coveted fragments, and uh, he will basically do the same thing. Yeah, it's basically going to kill what's nuts. So I'll open these doors right here. And I believe this is the last major puzzle of this area. We need to get there in the middle. First, we need to come over here. Oh, I thought it was here. Uh, maybe not over here then. We do need to make it to the middle though. It's very possible we'll kill ourselves from this jumping puzzle. Well, not jumping puzzle yet, but uh. There is a shortcut over here. I'm trying to decide if... Oh, we could actually have gotten to the site over there. Oh, man, we could have opened the door so much easier. My butthole clenches every time I make these jumps. Let me go ahead and make up, open that shortcut over there. There we go. So now from our shortcut right below us from the forge, or actually uh, not below us, but uh, essentially whenever we're coming up here, we can go up a pair of stairs right next to this uh, shortcut and uh, 
get here, no problem. There's only like three enemies we have to fight, none of them major. So that's good for us. So let's make our way to the middle here. Hopefully I don't mess up any of these jumps. There we go. And there we go. And now the floor becomes a solid uh, ground. Although this could be problematic. Because I believe I need them to hit these. I can't remember. Whenever they blow up, they hit these. And this is how we're actually going to rearrange it. So you got to follow the, the arrows. See, the arrows point inward. So what you want them to do is to blow up and basically uh, turn this for you. So we're going to come over to this one first. Alright, and is that the direction we need it to go? It is not. We need it to go the other way around. Oh, there's one on the outside, too. We need this to turn a couple of times. Close enough. We'll do this again. There we go. So that turns. Nope. Not the way we need it to turn. Alright, so we did that. And now we need another one to turn here. Not the right way. Oh, this one. Okay, I see. Oh no, it turned too many times. turn it no okay so for once our uh, thing is actually not working in our favor right now one of you needs to turn not the other one please don't die both of you there you go not that one okay good Excellent, and so now we just need this guy. One more time. Maybe. so close. We just need to tap one of these low health guys to do what we need. 
No, not both of them. That's the problem with this one. You just want them to line up. But like... I need them to die in a certain method to get it to happen. There we go, there's that one. One more. One more. And I believe... That's it, right? What am I missing? Oh! Oh no! Something turned the very end piece! You jerks! Now I'm gonna get to kill two of you here. Three of you, possibly. There we go. All right, now it's all lined up. All right, so that's all of the Flare Forge up to the boss. Well, not all the Flare Forge, but most everything up to the boss. So we'll head on back. I'm actually going to use a Echoing Bell to get ourselves back down there so we don't die in the process. I will say definitely in jumping difficulty-wise, the, uh, the Flare Forge is definitely one of those points we can hit. Um, so yeah, give me a second, and we're going to head over to where uh, Cathexis is. I'm going to do a couple things. Be right back. All right. So I messed up. We're in Starspire. Uh, because I actually came back to Starspire to grab uh, a whole bunch of elixirs. I actually stopped the recording and started the recording back up. And I was going to go back and complete the Flare Forge. Unfortunately, for me... I guess my recording decided it wanted to corrupt and unfortunately I don't have any of the hard mode fight with the flare knight uh, completed uh, so unfortunately this will be sad update for me I did complete the flare forge I did beat the flare knight it actually took me two attempts which was a lot less than I thought it was gonna take me um, and just a showcase that I did it just so that you have the information that I had did it I don't think that any of you would doubt me, but uh, let's go ahead and Here so here's the achievement. And I just got I actually got three achievements because we said it with plea nexus He gives you a basically rare set of armor for fighting with him And that gave me the trophy or achievement for collecting all pieces of armor in the game and then I defeated the flare knight with at least two pillars intact, so we got that. And of course, we beat him in hard mode. So there is pretty much the credit showing that I in fact completed that. Unfortunately, uh, not again recorded. I will try to do better in the future to make sure that everything is working. I don't know if it was something that I did or something was wrong with the game file or you know, just OBS being stupid. But unfortunately, that happened. Uh, so, that being said, if you like the before part of where we tackle on the Flare Forge and you want to see us tackle the Radix Stronghold in the next episode, feel free to like and subscribe to the video. It really helps me out. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of hard mode. I'm kind of down and upset about that. It's kind of sad. It was pretty impressive how fast he died. Uh, so you guys take care and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.